What is up, people of the internet? My name is Freelance Amber, and welcome back to another Death Battle reaction video. This is gonna be, uh, ba Battle of the Princesses. Yeah. Uh, she she ra from the He-Man franchise versus Wonder Woman from DC. So before we begin, please, 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 please watch the original episode on the Rooster Teeth website or the Death Battle YouTube channel before coming to my reaction or anybody else's reactions. Go support the team that's been making the series awesome. Okay, so we get and I I tweeted this the other day, but I'm gonna but even though I've never even I've never even seen the feeds of She-Ra, I'm gonna have to go for Wonder Woman in this one because I do not know squat about She-Ra. Not even the reboot, apparently, as I've been told. But the thing is, the reboot is like its own universe, it, and it's not like um like connected to the story to the same kind of story the original She-Ra is. And he and here's another thing. I didn't even know that there was a She-Ra. I mean, either I don't didn't realize it existed, or I just don't remember it. Because I remember watching bits of the original He-Man. Heck, even bits of the original uh, uh, Thundercats. But I don't remember She-Ra. Either way, either way. Um, but but I may be too quick to like. Make a final judgment here. So until I see, see and hear all the feats for bo of both these women, I'll make the final um, like decision. Uh, for Wonder Woman, I think that they're probably going to like have the same kind of feats they did the last one, last time she was on, which is Wonder Woman versus uh, Thor. Which, <laughs> if you rem if you remember my DC Marvel track record from that, it's not exactly good. Good. If I. It, if I don't know, like, Marvel rarely won, like, these fights. Like, but if you want to leave, leave like, the uh, the different kind of win-loss fights in the comments down below, feel free to, because <laughs> I'll remember, like, maybe one or two that Marvel um, won fights. Or maybe just the one. Either way. Either way. So, yes, yeah, so you can tell I am back from my hiatus if you saw my other two reactions and all that. So, but, yeah, let's just get this out of the way, because... I'm gonna be mentioning this a lot. So, new computer, working like a charm. So, so the description reads: Who is the ultimate princess of power? Only one will survive. So, let's get this bat. Let's get this uh, video started. In three, two, one. Now. Okay. Gotta keep checking. See if everything's in order. Yep. Ba -num, ba -num, ba -num. Not every princess needs some knight in shining armor. They <laughs> never meant to rescue them. That's true. Some even take it upon themselves. Oh, is that Zena? Lands they've never known. I remember Zena. Like Shira, the princess of power in Etheria, <laughs> and Wonder Woman, the warrior princess of the Amazons. He's wears an eye boom. Wonder Woman's actually and my favorite it's our DC job to character. Their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Oh, and we're back to animation, like Once CG. Upon a time, in a galaxy far, far away. And the thing is, no, not so far that it could be and the thing is, that they're only gonna implement the original Shira, not the reboot. Planets, Eternia and Etheria. On Eternia was everyone's favorite Conan the Barbarian. Conan the Barbarian. <laughs> and Etheria was the home of the Horde. I bet you'll never guess which one's the bad guys. Mm. But before he was He-Man, Prince Adam had a twin sister, Princess Adora. Sadly, she was kidnapped from Eternia by the Horde's leader, Hordak, and brainwashed to become his brutal enforcer on Etheria. Okay, who came up with these planet names? Cause I'm already confused. <laughs> Years passed, but eventually He-Man stumbled upon his sister while he was busy with something else. That's almost like a Luke and Leia kind of situation. Weapon, the legendary Sword of Protection. Almost. Wouldn't you know it, when Adora touched his sword, uh, don't read into that, her <laughs> was healed and she transformed into the heroic Shira. Shira, Shira. Shira, oh, you, Shira. you gotta love them, love them 80s music. 80s opening so theme music. The he As the princess of power, Shira possesses godlike speed and strength, and okay. wields the sword of protection like a master. It's Woo. no ordinary sword either. It can transform into a bunch of stuff. Apparently, a, lasso, a shield, a boomerang, a parachute, a grappling hook, a tennis racket, okay. a baseball bat, tennis. a net, and a coffee mug. It's the ultimate Swiss Army knife. Er, okay, so that's one advantage she has over Wonder uh, Woman. Get that? Yeah, yeah, I can deflect the magic attacks, uh, shoot some energy beams, cut through lightning, and freeze you solid. It's comparable to He-Man's Sword of Power, okay. which stems from an eternal yeah. deity of natural order. Shira can even use it to transform her horse. Oops! Into I put a that down, will you? Okay. Swift wind. 
Indeed I am, Shira. Indeed I am. That's a really deep voice for a horse to have. Wait. Why am I not drunk anymore? <laughs> uh, well, holding the sword wards off possession and mind control, so oh. I suppose that could include alcohol. <laughs> With this blade in okay, hand, made you sober. Her own, Adora joined the rebellion against the horde. As She-Ra, she was an incredible powerhouse of a hero, defeating evil daily in her own unique way. Unique is sure one way to put it. Okay. At the time a village was set on fire. Her solution was to cut up an entire lake Woo! and throw the whole thing over the place. What the fuck? Hopefully not drowning anyone. <laughs> hey, lady, why didn't you just use your super breath to put out the flames? Okay. Which you totally have. Much like her hulked out brother, she was strength out brother. simply defy all reason. Defy all Smacking reason, away okay. meteors, throwing a battleship like a skipping stone, okay. or closing up a canyon like it's a Ziploc bag. Okay, so what? she -Ra may have the better How advantage against Wonder Woman. Climb from the surface of the planet all the way to a spaceship in orbit in less than a minute. Assuming the orbit around Etheria is similar to Earth's, she must have been climbing about 20 times faster than sound. Even better, her Mount Swiftwind kept up with the Rock People, who can fly between solar systems. Rock People? Therefore, he might be able 80s to move cartoon were weird. 450 times the speed of light. Rock People's a dumb name for people that are fast. Rocks are <laughs> slow. And then there's the other flying horse, Crystal Sundancer. Oh god, wait, where is this? this is another Pony episode! <laughs> Crystal Sundancer was specifically pony episode. to be faster than Swiftwind, and took Shira and He-Man to another galaxy. Okay. Apart from super speed, Shira is also strong enough to kick the moon away. Factoring the moon's size compared to the distance it was kicked here, okay. Shira must have struck it with a force equal to 44 Yoda tons of TNT. Yoda tons? Is that? Yoda has to do it. This but powerful. Okay, you know what? Okay, forget, forget my early decision about Wonder Woman. Through the entire Great Wall of China. Forget my early decision about Wonder Woman. Shira. Quadrillion times. Shira is like the oh, ultimate yeah. powerhouse Super in this. Strong. Well, thanks but to the ultimate let's see. power from a sword that's definitely not plastic. <laughs> Adora's heroic deeds have more than made up for her dark past. Whether she's protecting her family or her new homeworld, Shira truly lives up to the title Princess of Power. Hey. For the honor of Okay, forget what I said about Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman, Wonder Somewhere Woman, I love you, but distant knots of the ocean, a mysterious let's see. island is veiled by mist and magic. This is Themyscira, home of the Amazons. Location: tropical island. Population: 100% women. Attractions: everyone's a highly trained warrior. <laughs> oh yeah, I know where I'm taking my next vacation. Oh, bless. The Amazons were tasked by the Olympian gods to prepare for a great battle, and trained in solitude for many millennia. Until one day when a military plane randomly crashed into paradise. Call it luck, call it will of the gods, but Olympia's chosen were no longer a secret. Nope. Even they knew it was about time they checked out what the rest of the world was up to. So after playing the deadliest game of catch ever, because they were catching frickin' bullets, they chose their finest fighter as an ambassador to, quote, man's world. Woo! This was Dr. I actually like the Wonder Woman film. Or as she would come to be known, Wonder Woman. Diana didn't just reconnect the Amazons with the rest of the world. She became a goddamn superhero. And one of the best. With her divine physiology, she already possessed incredible superhuman abilities. However, her powers were amplified by blessings of the gods, okay. including flight, accelerated healing, and a little bit of magic. But okay. as someone who's noticing a few new experience lines in the mirror every morning, I think I'm mostly jealous of her power to- Superman and Thor? Age. Experience lines? You mean wrinkles? What? Of course not. I'm, I'm just leveling up in life. You know, I've been working on a de-aging solution. Have you now? You could <laughs> give it a try. Oh. No, 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 oh, no. no. I know how this goes. Man. I remember the episode of Justice League. Son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, anyway, it's important to note that Diana is more than simply superhuman. She's trained in martial combat and equestrianism all her life. Mm -hmm. We know she was born when the Roman Empire employed centurions, so she's likely over 3,000 years old. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Why do I sound like a cartoon mouse? Well, back to the drawing board. <laughs> Moving on, Wonder Woman also carries an arsenal of specialized weapons and tools. Sure, the invisible jet seems kind of stupid when she can just lift off on her own, yeah. but how about that lasso of truth? She can make anybody spill the beans with that thing. I cross-dress in a Wonder Woman outfit. It makes me feel powerful. 
She has carried many blades, but her tried and true was crafted by the god of the forge, Hephaestus. Okay. The edge of this immaculate sword is so fine, it can shear electrons off of atoms. Okay, but that, Superman that might be an event. literally split an atomic nucleus. Okay. Which promptly blew up in their faces. <laughs> Good times. She can even summon this magic sword at any point thanks to her metal Okay. Cup, the bracelets of submission. Not only do those sound super kinky, they're super durable. They're made of eighth metal, one of the eighth strongest metal. elements in all of creation. Okay. That means they can deflect basically anything. Bullets? Easy. Heat vision hotter than the sun? Not a problem. <laughs> Superman's face. Omega beams that are totally unblockable? Well, they aren't anymore, bitch. The name isn't really a BDSM reference. Well, not today at least. Hello. By wearing the bracelets of submission, Wonder Woman's power is actively suppressed, held back for, presumably, the safety of others. Okay. So when she takes them off, step the hell away. Oh, fuck. She's going god mode. <laughs> <laughs> With all this potential, Diana quickly made a name for herself among the superhero community. In time, she helped found the Justice League, the greatest team of superheroes the world has ever known. Okay. Hello Leaguer Batman even called her the best melee fighter in the world. Woo! It's all about those wave dashes. What? Oh, wrong melee. But it's Batman, <laughs> a guy who knows ten times more than Google ever will. I'm I mean, God now. He's basically defeated every other Justice League. Was that Popeye right there? At some point, this chick literally punches warheads like they're beach balls. She's defeated Professor Zoom. The Flash is equal, while Ew. on the receiving end of multiple light speed punches. Okay. By punching at light speed, the mass of Zoom's strikes technically reaches a near infinite level, striking with the force of a white dwarf star. That is two billion megatons of force per punch. Yeah, try bi Diana, try that other that number that She-Ra can do. Blind. She certainly has the speed to match. She's fast enough to race Shazam and battle Superman from the Earth to the Sun in about 20 seconds. During a conflict with an entity known as the Shattered God, she moved quick enough to block all his fractured pieces from returning to him from across the universe. Hmm. And she's helped move both the moon and the Earth. Though she did need a bit of help. It takes about a thousandth of a celestial body's weight to move it against the sun's yeah, orbit. She, yeah. Assuming Wonder Woman was pulling her fair share, that means she's lifting over two quintillion tons. She's not invincible, though. Oof. Technically, she's vulnerable to piercing weapons. Ew. You know, things like bullets and swords. To yeah. be fair, you would need far more than a few bullets to take her down. Not Damn! Not only does Diana have a stellar healing factor, but she's incredibly tough. I'm gonna need to ask you guys yeah, the different kind of animations Wonder Woman's in, excluding Justice League, because I kind of already know Justice that. League members went crazy, he left Wendy's box empty, because he says she doesn't have a kryptonite. Why even have the box at all? <laughs> Simply put, Wonder Woman is an incredible warrior. There's a good reason why she's considered one of the DC Trinity. She didn't just bring the Amazons back into the modern world. Wonder Woman inspired many new generations of Aww. heroes while saving the day time and time again. Woo! I am Diana, princess of the Amazons. I won't be denied. <laughs> okay, final thoughts. It's gonna have to be She-Ra. I mean, what the hell? That one number that I can't even remember the name uh, when she pushed the moon, she pushed the moon by herself. Whereas Wonder Woman needed help to at least move the moon. Okay, I'm I'm sorry, Wonder Woman. I, I, I'm gonna have to go with She-Ra on this one. I'm gonna have to go with She-Ra. <laughs> like I'm gonna have to go with the woman. I'm gonna have to go with the woman I don't even remember or for, don't even remember or didn't even realize she existed. I'm sorry. Now it kind of made. It kind of makes me want to watch the reboot of Shira, but I've been getting some mixed uh, comments that it's it's a good show, or or it's not that really good, excluding like maybe the fourth or fifth season where it actually picked up a bit. My bad. But let me know in the comments below if the reboot of Shira is worth is even worth watching. Okay, so final final decision, it's Shira. I'm gonna have to go with Shira. <laughs> so I maybe jump to the conclusion, but hey, I still got the pink boozer right here. All right, let's do this. Three, two, one, go. All right, the combatants are set, and we've run the data through all possibilities. It's time for a death battle! Is this the same CG animation they use for uh, for Wonder Woman and Thor? Because it kind of looks like it. I could be wrong. Zeus, Heracles... Hippolyta, give me strength. Ooh. Ooh, nice design. For the honor of Grayskull. I am 
am She-Ra! Compared to an Amazon like me, you're just playing dress up. <laughs> Ooh! Boy! <coughs> My voice cracked! You are strong, Amazon, but no match for a princess of power. Get over yourself! See what I mean? <laughs> Animation is like really top notch. Oh, what's the matter? Invisible jet. And why? And why need that when you can fly by yourself, Wonder Woman? <laughs> oh my god, this is so awesome! Oh damn! Gotcha. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh! You're finished! Oh, she gonna go Hulk! Well. Really the good. one time I should have voted for someone that I that I know. God damn it! What oh. happened? Ooh, talk about taking a little off the top. Both Shira and Wonder Woman had clear advantages over the other in this fight. Some to great extremes. Yeah, it was pretty obvious that Dora was a lot stronger than Wendy. Shira moved the moon all by herself, while Diana needed a little help. But strength alone obviously isn't everything. Okay. Pulling the earth at all still means her strength was comparable to Shira's. So let's check their experience, arsenals, and speed to see if Diana could reliably counter that power difference. Okay. Uh, spoilers, she definitely could. First of all, okay. Shira's transforming blade implied a broader versatility than oh. Wonder Woman. Okay. However, unlike Diana's toolkit, very few of these forms were applicable to combat. And I mean, oh. having a shield is handy, but not when it takes away the sword you need to counterattack your foe after blocking. Oh. What kind of strategy is that? Certainly not one Wonder Woman and her three millennia of experience would follow. Oh. Shira may have also been fighting all her life, but she's much, much younger. Plus, Shira didn't have an answer to that atom slicing sword. Did not even consider Adam, experience not, not or age-wise. That in Wonder Woman's hands, the strength difference didn't really mean as and much. And the fucking so, subatomic thing! It's what just like with Booster Gold and Cable! Than Shira. Let's look at Swiftwind and Crystal Sundancer. Logically, Shira rides these mounts to travel at faster speeds than she is capable of herself. We know Swifty can zoom around over 450 times the speed of light, okay. but the other little pony is way quicker. Both He-Man and She-Ra were dependent on Crystal Sundancer for their trip to another galaxy, okay. giving their time frame a generous benefit of the doubt with just one hour. This magic horse must have been traveling about 22 billion times light speed. Definitely impressive, but then there's the Shattered okay, God feet. Right, oh, okay. the pieces of the Shattered God that Wonder Woman blocked all originated from far corners of the universe. Not the galaxy, the universe. Oh. Now, the exact size of the DC universe is a hotly debated topic. But yeah. Know, very interesting stuff. Oh, just skip to the good part, nerd. Yeah, fine, fine. There's plenty of evidence that it is larger than our own known universe. And there is more than a hundred trillion light years between the Earth and the foreseeable edge. To close this gap in such a short time, each shard must have been moving over 50 quintillion times the speed of light. I did jump the gun on Tuesday. Diana blocked all of them, one after the other rapid fire. Remember, Shira must be slower than Crystal Sundancer, potentially only comparable at a reactionary level, if at all. Therefore, at absolute minimum, Wonder Woman was more than nine billion times faster. A much there goes my streak. In the strength comparison, and more than quick enough to stick that magic sword right where it really hurts. Shira's amazing strength and versatility may have kept the Amazon running, but Diana's skill, arsenal, and incredible speed tipped the scales enough for a victory. It's no wonder she ran out of time. The winner is Wonder Woman. Fuck! 
I did jump the gun. Thanks for watching. The battle music is linked down below. Death battle there goes my streak. In August, but in the meantime, we'll have a brand new fight every week with DBX. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Who's next? DBX. Ten weeks. Ten battles. Okay. And next Apparently, time. I found a word. Beerus. Oh come on! You're not gonna show me who's 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 he fighting against? Really? The next step battle is Beerus, but you're not gonna show me who's gonna who's who he's fighting? Come on! But oh, damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! I did jump the gun. I did jump the gun. The one time I should have voted for for someone that I I know to an extent. All right. Got my drink right here. Let's get this over with. Oh my god. I can't tell what this one is. I can't tell. It's either barf peach or dead fish and strawberry banana smoothie. I can't tell what this is. I can't tell. Hang on. Where's my trash can? Hang on. Trash can at the ready. Oh. <laughs> that goes my street. God damn it. Oh! Right? I think it's strawberry banana smoothie! Oh my god! Thank you! Oh, thank you! Oh, I escaped that one! Oh! Oh, I escaped that one! Oh, oh. oh my god, I escaped that one this time! I escaped that one, but I'm not gonna be so lucky next time! Oh god damn it! I didn't even consider about Diana's like experience, her age, and all that. And again, with the sword cutting shit at a at a subatomic level, like it's like boost. It's like with Booster Gold versus Cable. Oh, I need. I didn't consider that. What is wrong with me? Okay, but anyway, so DBX will be coming back soon, and the next death battle will be with Beerus. But. Who is he going to fight against? They didn't show. Oh, okay. So, so yeah. Okay, I escaped that one this time. Next time, I'm, gonna get, I'm not going to be so lucky. So, until the next time, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts of this death battle in the comment section, comment section down below. If you liked the video and you enjoyed it, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Also, hit the bell button to be notified of my latest reactions. And follow me on Twitter at FreelanceApper for Twitter the same thing or just mention in general. And if you feel inclined to, feel free to join my Discord. I'll leave a link to that in the description box below. So remember to stay awesome, be nice to animals, don't be dicks, keep moving forward, and I will see you all in the next video!